Dancing in the Street exhibition. It's uh, the exhibition made for the 60th anniversary of Motown. And in the Manuel Rivera Ortiz Foundation, we welcome the, the visitors with one entire wall that we, we call the Wall of Fame. Uh, and it's a chronological um, series of uh, album covers that has been published by uh, Motown from 1959 until 1988. You can have 40 years of history of graphism and, and also references of um, the history, the, con the context when the album has been published. You can see the Vietnam War, you can see um, the flower power movement, you can see the hip hop arriving. It was really made to be uh, um, a machine for hits. Like Barry Gordy um, gets really inspired by, uh, by the Ford, Fordism for, because he was from Detroit and Detroit was the base of, uh, of Ford. He's not an activist, he's a businessman. He, he has, a, he has a, uh, an industry and this industry has to make cash. And then, of course, inside Moton, uh, like 90% of the artists are black, but he never put in front that they are black. He put in front that they are making good music. Listen to that music, people like that music. Don't take care about the, the color of the skin. What is important is that people dance on it. In 1962, he already has a golden uh, album with a shop around. Like after only three years of, uh, of life, he already gets, he's in the top of all charts uh, in the uh, in, uh, in US and very soon in Europe. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Brother, brother, brother. I think Marvin Gaye and what happened uh, at that time for him is a really uh, meaningful fact. He, he lost his girlfriend. Uh, he, he has a depression um, and he begins to write uh, something which is more mature because Marvin Gaye was known for uh, to be a lover, to be uh, to seduce the woman and. Uh, and and suddenly, with the Tammy disappeared, uh, he took conscious of uh, the message he can bring to the world. And, and he, he writes right what's going on, an, uh, an entire album in one year. I think this album is the consecration of the maturity of Ma Ma Marvin Gaye, but also Motown and also the music. Like we see that through music, we can wake up consciousness, we can wake up uh, awareness about what is happening in the world. Even if we don't change it, at least we know. Uh, we see that in America today, the suprematism is, uh, is coming back. And for me, it's a kind of answer, like look at the last 50, 60 years of music, how black people uh, succeeded to fight step by step to get their, their own civic rights and also not only for them but for the other uh, minor minorities and communities. So um, I think it's Motown is a kind of uh, a seed uh, and inspiration for, for, for others. Yeah.